Hey everyone, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you guys how to start getting your very first high authority backlinks pointing towards your site. And the majority of these are going to be free. Now this is primarily going to be for a locally based business. So if you're doing paper call affiliate or if you're doing lead generation, you're doing this for a client site, you're doing this for your own local business's website. This is basically one of the first steps that you take. So you can actually start building these links. Once the home page is built and has content on there, you can start creating and building citations, which is basically an, any online mention of the business's name, the business's address, and the business's phone number, otherwise known as the NAP, for a local business. Now, if you're building like an affiliate site that's related to product reviews or something of the sort, this really won't apply much to it. However, if you're doing this for a lead gen or paper call type of site, like I mentioned, or a client site or your own local business, these are some things that you want to do immediately in the beginning process in order to build trust with Google and further entice them to rank your site. So these are going to be most commonly found on the big local directory sites like Manta, Yelp, Thumbtack, and the list just goes on, where you can place the business information on their website. And so basically these websites are gonna feature information about the business, usually the name, the address, phone number, that sort of stuff. But in addition also a web address, the hours of operation, a little bio about the company, services offered, every one of these sites is a little bit different. But a citation is going to serve two purposes. The first being visibility on these platforms so that way prospective customers that are looking to find your company or your, or your lead gen or affiliate site are able to find it and also ensuring the search engines provide a broad and accurate representation of your business by building trust. So long story short, increasing the trust factor of your website or your business in Google's eyes to again further entice them to rank our site. This is a big influence in helping people searching the web to find local businesses to solve that problem that they may have. For example, if you own a plumbing business or you own a plumbing lead gen site, people have a problem such as a pipe leak or a faucet that broke and they need a plumber. And the job of Google is to basically place the best fitting business in the top of the search results so that way those people that are in need of those services can find it very, very quickly and easily. Now, some of the factors that come into play here are the amount of citations that you have. There are dozens, if not hundreds, if not thousands of sites where you can place the business information. The quality of a lot of them will vary tremendously. There are some very just spammy directory sites out there that you can be listed on, but there are also the high trust ones such as Google Maps, for example. But one of the most important things with your citations is the accuracy of the data that is on each one of them. We'll get more into this later on, but you want to have congruency with how every one of these listings on each one of these sites is shown. So the business name has to be the same, the phone number has to be written in the same manner, the URL, all those sorts of things. We'll get into that later on in this video though. And then also the quality of the platforms they exist on. I mentioned that before. Some are really crappy, but some are very high authority and have a lot of trust within Google. They do influence your rankings. And if Google trusts the data that is on the site, so if you're placing the business information on legit directories and legit sites, they see that your site is going to be more trustworthy and therefore they're going to increase your rankings. And like mentioned, your listing information has to be congruent across the board because if it's not, it's definitely going to hinder your progress in regards to getting ranked. For example, if you have your Google Maps listing and it says that the business is open 24 hours a day and then you have a Manta profile or a Thumbtack profile that shows that you're only open eight to six Monday through Friday, that does not look good. So you really want to make sure that you, you have all of your ducks in a row and everything is written in the same exact manner. If you're open eight to six Monday through Friday, closed on the weekends, make sure every one of these directories shows that when you create your listings. And so there are about three to four-ish types of local citations. Google My Business is number one. It does fall into the major platforms category, which technically would be 1.5 in this instance. But Google My Business is so crucial that it really is in, its, in a category of its own. If you are watching this and you own a local offline business, and you do not have a Google My Business listing, you're missing out on free money essentially, because it only takes about 10 minutes to claim the listing, and you will need to have a real address. Either you can have it sent to your home, have it sent to your business office, you can have it sent to a UPS store mailbox, because those have real addresses, and they will send you a postcard with a six or five digit code, you verify it, and then you are listed online. And you can be getting phone calls and other leads 100% free. It is one of the absolute best ways to get your first customers via the internet. Now, most of my audience are digital marketers who do lead generation and paper call affiliate marketing. So being as that is an online business that technically creates a website that essentially mimics what a local business website does, but it 
forwards the service or the call or the lead to a provider of that service. And so being as it's not technically an official business, it doesn't have an offline presence like a local plumber would have. But there are some ways that you can do workarounds to obtain a Google My Business listing for your lead gen or paper call affiliate type of site. Now, being as I'm posting this on a Google owned website, which is YouTube, I'm not going to encourage this, I'm not gonna condone it, I'm just going to just give you information of what you can do and I'll let you make that decision on what you want to do for your endeavor. If you live in the area that you have a website based in, let's say you live in Denver or you live in like Lakewood, Colorado, for example, and you have a plumbing website, you can have the Google My Business listing sent to your house, registered to your house, have it just show the service error so that way your address is not shown. They'll send it to you in the mail and then you enter in the six or five digit code for the verification. And then boom, you're verified, you can start getting that free traffic and free phone calls and free leads. However, if you have a website that's not based in your local area, you can also purchase a gig on the legit marketplace from a vendor that will create and verify that Google business listing. Now this will cost anywhere between 75 to $250 or so. However, once it's done, it's basically permanent. It only take maybe two to 10 qualified leads that are essentially coming in for free to recoup that initial investment. Now moving on, the major platforms are basically the big hubs that will publish all this data. So Google My Business, like we talked about, Google Maps is a big one. Facebook, Yelp, uh, Apple Maps could, could technically fall into play here as well. MapQuest, Bing Maps, any of these big, big information hubs. Uh, Facebook and Yelp being as they are social and review focused platforms, Thumbtack would be another one. Yellow Pages, Foursquare, Super Pages. Now this isn't crucial information that you must know when you're doing this, but the core platform, what's important to know about these core platforms is that they essentially send that information to these platforms here and see if everything is syncing across the board. So next up would be geographic and industry specific citations. So these are gonna be your locally based and industry specific websites where your business information can be listed. So these, this would be sites like HomeAdvisor, Angie's List, any other type of contractor related sites if you are working in the contractor niche or Chamber of Commerce, industry associations. They are super relevant and they will definitely help you with ranking, especially some of these local Chamber of Commerce types of, types of websites or if someone maybe has a local real estate blog and you can be featured as like the local go-to service for whatever service it may be if it is your actual business. Some of these listings are going to be free, others are paid. A lot of Chamber of Commerce will charge you X amount per month or something like that, but you just wanna weigh out the pros and cons and see if it's profitable. If it is, sweet, if it's not, then you don't do it. And so the last type are just general citations. These are gonna be from blogs, from local news outlets, which if you're able to get your business featured on the local news in a positive manner, that would be a huge boost in the rankings, government sites, and of course mentions on social media as well. So these four primary data aggregators are like mentioned, Infogroup, Newstar, Localese, Axiom, and Factual. So really all that matters with them is that they just send the business listing information to the search engines every couple months. And the reason that that is of significance is that your information on there must be listed correctly. So congruency is really key in order to have success with your citations. You do not wanna have mismatched phone numbers across the board or anything like that. It's gonna look really, really bad. Now, some of the data providers for each one of these respective groups. So for local leads, you're gonna be seeing Bing Local, Twitter, Foursquare, Info Group is Google Maps, MapQuest, Yahoo, White Pages, Axiom, Super Pages, Local.com, Yellow Book. Factual is Yelp, Bing, Apple, and Siri. If you wanna learn more about this, you can go over to Moz and learn just the local search data for the US and see who's all covered under each one of these groups. It's really not that crucial. What's really important is just getting listed on these sites, making sure your information is congruent from every single one of these listings, and using that to your advantage to help rank your site in the search results. And so there's a lot going on in this infographic, but this was Maz's example of really how the ecosystem of local search works in regards to all these data aggregators and where they send their information to. I'm not gonna get too specific on this. If you wanna go check it out, there's more info on here, moz.com slash learn slash SEO slash local dash search dash data dash US. I'll link to it down below in the description if you really wanna go check this stuff out. If you're someone who just wants to build a paper call affiliate or rank your local business's website, you don't need to know exactly how all these aggregators work. You just wanna make sure you have your site listed on as many of these sites as you can. And now for acquiring these citations for your website. So basically getting your website listed 
on yellowpages.com, eLocal, or Superpages, Yahoo Local, or any of these other directories, you can do it manually where you basically just visit these websites, fill out their application. They may require certain certain types of verification, either via phone, via email, whatever. If you're doing a paper call or lead generation site, I'm not going to condone it, not going to encourage it, but you could use your own phone number and then edit it later on if they allow you to do that. You can also purchase software that will build this out for you. If you're on a budget, it's not the cheapest way to go about it. You can also hire an outsourcing service. There are vendors on Legit that will do this. You could hire a VA to do this. It is rather tedious to do, but it's again, something that's important. A lot of things in SEO can feel ridiculously tedious as well as basically just be online manual labor, but that comes with the territory of building a site and ranking it in the search engines. Now, I know I've said this multiple times in this video, but I can't stress it enough with how important it is. When you are submitting the information or filling out these applications, you need to make sure everything is formatted and spelled out the exact same way across the board. I'm talking about capital letters and apostrophes and abbreviations. So if you write out ST period rather than street, for example, or you spell out the word south, or if the address is place, versus PL with a period or a PDL without a period, you need to make sure that these are all congruent across every one of these citations. Same with the city name, if you have the zip code and then the dash afterwards, sometimes some of these sites will say, hey, do you wanna use this listing? Go with their listing that they suggest if it is the accurate information in regards to the address. Same thing with your hours of operation. If, you're, if your Google Maps listing says you're open eight to six or you're open 24 hours, make sure all of these other sites say those exact same hours. And then the web address has to be the same as well, written in the same manner. And so lastly, if you're looking for citation sites in the specific area where your website is based or where your company is based, I'll link down below to a couple different Bright Local blog posts. Bright Local is basically a reporting software for SEO, but they have some super in-depth blog posts which provide information for some of the top citations in your specific area. So, so if you come down here to Minneapolis, they have some of the top four citation sites where you can list your business. So I'm not gonna go through this entire list because they have 100 plus cities on here. And also they do have another blog post, which I'll link to down below, that are the top local citations for your industry's category. So if you are building a plumbing site, you're building a water damage repair site, you're doing locksmith, landscaping, whatever type of business that you have, they have a list of some of the top citation sites that you can list your business on. So for plumbers down here, we have Fixer, Networks with an X, Build Zoom, Best Plumbers, e Hat. I'm not gonna go through the whole list because there are a lot of them, but you'll wanna basically go through this list and essentially apply to have your website or your business listed on there. Some of these are free, some are paid. And when you're in the process of this, you may want to look to see if they require some certain type of verification Aside from them sending you an email and you click to verify your listing, if they so if they do require a phone number, you may want to use your own number. And again, this may be against their terms of service and their policy, but you could then place your affiliate paper call lead gen phone number on there if you wanted to do that. So again, you just want to make sure you read through their rules and see what they allow, what they don't allow. But hopefully this will help you guys out to get your first backlinks built to your site. This is something that you want to do within the first month of the actual SEO process. And in future videos, we'll be getting into the link building timeline and when you want to be doing PBNs and that sort of stuff. So, so if you guys appreciate this type of content, be sure to go down below, drop a like. And also, if you're not already subscribed, join the family and hit that subscribe button down below. Also smash the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content comes live here on my channel. And if you want to learn more about doing SEO, building websites, getting it ranked in the search engines, and becoming a proficient paper call and lead generation marketer, there's a link to the course right down below in the description. And also, if you want to get access to the nine most profitable paper call and lead gen niches, there's a link to download that right below this video as well. So with all that said, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.